Good morning from Austin, Texas, back in Austin after a great weekend in Bakersfield, California at the, uh, at the Great 48 Festival. Wonderful, wonderful time. Boy, boy, oh boy. And, you know, the highlights for me, there were several highlights. I'm not sure each, each one was very special. I got to, you know, first and foremost, I got to, to meet with uh, my dear old friend Bob Garcia, who's from Fresno, California, who the last time I saw was, was uh, we were trying to figure out, I, th I think it was 1972, could have been 73, but the, uh, one of those summers we were learning to play banjo together and uh, get, kind of getting started in bluegrass. And, uh, and it's funny, we're both mandolin players now. Anyway, Bob the plays with the band leader for the band, uh, Grass Kickers out of Fresno, California area. And he's playing mandolin, wonderful mandolin player, and, and the band uh, Grass Kickers is is a uh, is very good, aptly named. Um, so that was very special seeing Bob, and I also got to meet Hal Horn. And uh, as Bob and I were talking about me coming out to Bakersfield to to go to the Great Forty Eight, uh, he had sent Bob sent me a copy of a uh, tune that Hal had been working on that had been unnamed, and uh, and it wonderful tune. I fell in love with it first, the first time I heard it and uh, had to work it out on the mandolin. And uh, so when Hal and I finally met at Bakersfield, uh, the first time we met, I had been playing one of his uh, early uh, 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 revisions of, uh, of the tune that he had written. And, uh, and together we worked out streamlining it a little bit and, uh, and, and getting it to where it's being played now. And Hal may change it, it's his tune, but uh, you know, we did streamline it a little bit, and I was very honored that he, I had given it a name because of what it made me think of, and uh, and I was very honored when Hal said uh, he would let he would let that name stand. So this is banjo in the redwood.